Hey guys, welcome back to the table. And on the table, you see this gun right in front of you. This is the Tetius PX9 Gen 3, straight out of Turkey from a company uh, called SDS Imports. They import them into the United States. This is their OD green frame, OD green slide. It's a pretty nice looking handgun. Now, from everything that I've gathered about this gun, this is actually, uh, I would assume, going on an XD clone. Uh, a lot of the internals look the same. The trigger is definitely an improvement. And uh, the ergonomics of it are improved as well. Plus, you don't have that grip safety. But overall, if you kind of look at the beaver tail in this area here and the way the slide is cut and everything, it does strongly resemble the XD in a lot of different ways. And like I said, when I pop the slide off, which I'll do for you right now, uh, you'll see that the internals in here are very much so like an XD. So you could see that, uh, you know, you've got your steel guide rod here. It is a hammer forged barrel. It also has a very, very, very brightly polished uh, feed ramp in the barrel. So it does resemble quite a bit of the XD model. Also comes with blacked out rears and also a green fiber optic, very reminiscent of the uh, XD models as well. You'll notice on mine, I have my hollow sun on this. Uh, this is kind of interesting on the slide. And one of the things I like about it is that this slide in particular is cut for anything with an RMR footprint. So a hollow sun, a trigicon, a uh, swamp fox, and whatever else is out there that has that footprint can actually fit on this slide and you do not need a plate as you guys can see right there. There's no plate needed because it is cut specifically for that uh, footprint. So that's actually kind of a nice feature because it allows you to maintain your co-witnessing with your red dot without having to get uh, new sights, which is, in my opinion, a huge plus and a huge benefit. The bottom portion here is uh, in regards to the uh, frame. Uh, there we go. Uh, you guys can see that you have a pretty robust uh, rail system here. And uh, you can see in the back right here, guys, that uh, it is polymer with some infused steel in there. So again, very similar. I mean, this is the way my, uh, my uh, P2000 is actually. So I don't really see much of a complaint there, uh, but it does look like it's, it's, again, very, very similar to an XD setup. So putting it on the slide is very easy. It's just like any other gun. You just got to lock it back, rotate that back, and it goes back into action. So let's take, uh, let's kind of talk a little bit about what I think is really good about this gun, aside from a lot of the features. But uh, this trigger on this gun is fantastic. I would say that for $350, this trigger is probably very difficult to beat just on the simple fact that it is super, super smooth on the take up and a very light, crisp, barely four pounds trigger pull. So again, you could see right here, there's your take up super, super short. Uh, there's no other movement. And then the trigger breaks. It's, it's actually really nice. The reset it's it's, it's not long. It's not short, not super tactile. It doesn't really push your finger out. Like let's say the Walther does, but again, that trigger is really smooth, very nice and responsive. And it works really, really well. It's a very comfortable trigger shoe. Um, you know, I don't know why they had to paint the, uh, the trigger safety red in there. I think that's kind of, kind of stupid, I guess, but, uh, that for whatever reason, that's what they do. So I'll take it anyway. You'll notice also has a magwell at the bottom. So right from the factory, this will come with the magwell. It is polymer. Um, it's nothing necessarily like super fancy or to write home about, but it is pretty good. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. You're basically going to be able to get those magazines right in there nice and easily and uh, it ejects fairly fairly well. So, I mean, overall, it's a nice package in regards to that as well. So, let's talk also about some of the other things this gun comes with. Panels, that's right, removable panels and removable backstrap. Right now, I'm running the large uh, backstrap here with the medium panels, and it just feels really good in the hand. I would say it's probably the most comfortable that I've felt, uh, at least so far. I might go back to maybe doing a medium backstrap, but for now, this is the way I shot it initially, and I've got to say it worked really well. I had no issues with it, and uh, the gun was very stable, very easy, but we'll talk more about that in another uh, review on this pistol when I do the post-shooting review. You got about a squared off. It's, it's almost like a 45-degree angle here on your trigger guard, and you have a slight undercut here. So it is a pretty, pretty comfortable trigger guard, very comfortable position of your hand. One of the other things that I noticed on the takedown lever here is if you guys can see that in the camera, there's a little bit of a ledge here. So this actually acts like a, like a gas pedal, a built-in gas pedal where you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to buy anything extra and it's right there. So, you know, when you look at the picture of this firearm, uh, the whole thing is, is again, Cerakoted here. You know, they cover the pin back here with what appears to be some Cerakoted polymer or something like that. And then you got your two pin drop system here, which is pretty nice. Full pick rail. 
So, I mean, overall, the gun is fantastic. Even the magazines are actually really good. As a matter of fact, if you guys can make that out, I don't know if you'll be able to, but uh, if this would actually focus in where it is right now, you'll notice that it actually says P226 Metgar. It's a Metgar magazine for a SIG P226. So if you have that and you have, the, uh, have those magazines, now you have extra magazines for this gun. Overall, it is actually a pretty solidly built handgun. Now, there are going to be some people who say, well, what about aftermarket? That was a question I received already about aftermarket support on this gun. Well, honestly, you don't need much. First off, it is an XD clone, like I said, so you'll be able to use those, uh, those holsters from an XDM or an XD uh, with a four and a half inch slide. So that works pretty nice. The rear and the front sides are actually Glock sights. So that's a plus. So if you want to upgrade anything and if you want to get a carry holster for this, it's not a problem because there's already plenty of aftermarket support for all of that stuff. So, you know, I guess the biggest question is going to be, does this gun do enough for 350 bucks? Well, if you're in the market for something that's going to be kind of uh, usable in all circumstances, for example, uh, range visits, target shooting, even maybe personal carry, this would be a good option. You know, it has a lot of ability to be changed up based on the configurations that you use. The magazine's very, very solidly built, so you don't have to worry about that. The aftermarket support is there. You've got the optic capability, which seems to be the rage nowadays. And honestly, it's a very solid system. I mean, overall, everything on this gun screams quality. And again, time will tell if that's the case. Now, the closest similarity that I have in firearms right now is the Masada. Now, the Masada, it cost me, I think, about $375, $400. I can't remember what it was, but it was a fairly cheap price. Now, between the two, they are both very good guns. They shoot very well. This shot excellently, by the way. But um, they handle well. They feel nice. The ergonomics are decent on both. The texturing on both is a little bit of the same. I'd say there's maybe a little bit more of an aggressive texturing on this one than on the Masada. But I think this, you know, needs a little bit of work. I mean, if I could find anything wrong with the gun, I'd say that the texturing is a little bit lame. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not great. I'd say that the polymer, while it does feel extremely rigid, the, uh, the seams on the, uh, the actual molding of the polymer, I guess when they, they kind of make them and then pull them apart and stuff, you can see a lot of the seam lines on here, which again, 350 bucks, who cares? You know, it's not going to really change anything and they're not sharp or anything. They're not going to hurt you. But at the same time, some people like that clean look. The other thing that I would say about this gun is going to be, you know, the overall long-term usability. Is this gun going to function for, you know, thousands and thousands of rounds? Well, probably it will just based on the history where its clone came from. The XC tends to be a very reliable pistol and a very good pistol. And since this shares a lot of the components with that gun, I would assume then that it would be the same. I mean, overall, if I was going to recommend this gun, which I am, I'm going to say very simply, it's this. It's $350. You have the optic capability. Now, this is going to limit you uh, based on the footprint that you have. So again, Hollow Sun, Trijicon, and... Um, um, God, I'm, I'm I just lost the name of that uh, Swamp Fox. That's the one. So you guys have to understand you're going to be limited to that. But those are very popular, you know, sites right now, uh, or at least optics right now, especially Hollow Sun. You also have the Cerakoted slide. Uh, I'd say the biggest downside of the slide is that it is pretty generic and pretty basic. The slide cuts here are not very deep, so that might trouble you a little bit. Although I don't see why. You can see that there is duty written here, and on this side again, it is very very basic. So that's what you're going to give up. You're not going to give a lot of, uh, you know, uh, pizzazz, so to speak, on a slide. But who the hell wants that anyway? I think really the overall deciding factor for me on this gun was, A, I saw a bunch of reviews on it. It looked like a really interesting firearm. And then, B, when I got it home and I was able to play around with it and then go take it to the range, I was very impressed with it. I mean, it handled pretty darn well. It shoots very well. It seems to be, you know, a very well-built handgun with some maybe minor aesthetic flaws. But other than that, guys, it's a deal, and it's a deal that would be hard to pass up. They have this model, the Duty. They also have the, I believe it's the tactical model, which has a threaded barrel on it. So that's even cool if you choose to do that. And it comes in black, FDE, and OD green. Got the OD green, can't complain. It's really a nice looking gun. And uh, overall, I'm very happy I bought it. You know, there's not a lot of markings anywhere, which I think, again, causes that price to be decreased because it's less uh, machining on there. But overall, it's a pretty solid build and it shoots really well, which we'll follow up next week. So let me know what you think about guns like this. I mean, do you think a Tetius PX9 would be something you would entertain? If so, why? And if not, why? But uh, to be honest with you, with everybody going at and out there saying Tauruses are so great, 
This gun, guys, uh, to me, this is even better. It just comes with a little bit more in regards to features, a little bit more to usability. Now, if they can make this in a compact, that would be great. So leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think about this gun and if it's something you would entertain. So I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe. And as always, freedom is never free.